Hello! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a follow-up video to my previous one where I did a final World Cup prediction. I obviously left it at the group stage, so just like the other prediction videos, I gotta do a follow-up one with the knockout stage. Now, in the previous videos, we have used the Telegraph website, but FIFA have finally released something on their own website. So we're gonna be using that today, and they also have a league, which I will be creating that you guys can join as well. I said I would be giving the winner of the Fantasy League $100. I'm gonna do the same thing for this bracket league that FIFA have created. You all go at me about how terrible my predictions are, and sometimes you all are right, but if you truly think you're better than me, make sure you join this league. I will be giving the winner once again, just like the Fantasy League, $100. All you have to do to be eligible to win that prize is obviously join the competition, make your own bracket, make sure you put the league code in, but also follow me on either Twitter or Instagram, just to keep in touch in case you guys do win and make sure you have a PayPal account because that's how I'll be transferring the money. So as you can see, I already have my round of 16 bracket assembled. We got Netherlands versus Wales, Argentina versus Tunisia, Spain versus Belgium, Portugal versus Brazil, England, Ecuador, Denmark, Poland, Croatia, Germany, and Uruguay versus Serbia. But before we get into these predictions, let's take a look at our sponsor for today's video, Manscaped. Avoid a Fellaini bush in your midfield and clean up your midsection with Manscaped. Proud sponsors of this channel. Join over 7 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going onto their website manscaped.com and using my code HRV for free shipping and 20% off. Manscaped were kind enough to send me the perfect package 4.0, or as I like to call it, the perfect package for your package. Inside, you'll find their lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, weed whacker ear and nose hair trimmer, crop preserver ball deodorant, crop reviver toner, performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your goodies. Think of it as a trophy case for your balls. Their Lawnmower 4.0 is the Virgil van Dyke of Dong Defense this tournament. Their electric trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. It also gives you the ability to turn on the 4000K LED spotlight on and off when needed for a more precise shave, plus it's waterproof. The Weed Whacker helps you chop off your worst weeds in your nose or ear. This nose and ear hair trimmer uses a 9,000 RPM motor powered 360 degree rotary dual blade system to provide proprietary skin safe technology, which helps prevent snags and tugs in those delicate holes. Can't forget about Manscaped's liquid formations. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Toner Spray are like watching the beautiful game. You can't live without it. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code HRV at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping when you go to manscaped.com and use my code HRV. Be thankful for the best gift of them all, from Manscaped to hit the target and show up your D this football-filled holiday season. Your balls will thank you. So we're already starting big Netherlands versus Wales. Now, Wales obviously are not as good as Netherlands on paper. They were already in the same Nations League group, in fact, and Netherlands were able to beat them both times, but both score lines were actually pretty close. Wales put off good fights each time. Wales might know the trick now to surprise Netherlands, for all we know. They already have experience playing this side, and Netherlands definitely learned their lesson in Euro 2020 not to underestimate their round of 16 opponent, even if it's an underdog. Czech Republic really caught the world by surprise. Wales could do the same here. They could be more motivated if they already made it this far. Netherlands, on paper, Paper obviously also have a pretty favorable group for their standards so maybe an underdog just out of nowhere could catch them off guard and we've seen Wales upset other European giants in the past for all we know Delit can have another round of 16 disaster class but I think Netherlands really know what's at stake right now I could be very much wrong but I'm gonna say Netherlands make it to the quarterfinals now for Argentina versus Tunisia they're also doing Argentina favor to avoid France once again in the round of 16s but I don't think they can squeeze through this one Argentina are undefeated in so many matches if they top their group as well chances are that their winning streak hasn't ended anytime soon so i'm gonna say argentina continue it against this underdog it would be lovely to see tunisia put off a good fight but i'm gonna say argentina get a convincing display here they make it to the quarterfinals i'm pretty sure i had that netherlands versus argentina quarterfinal matchup in every single video because i always had them going first in both their groups but let's see if the rest changes spain versus belgium in every prediction video, I wrote off Belgium in the round of 16s. They gotta face Spain or Germany, I think it would be tough for them. However, some critics are doubting Spain after Enrique's national team selections, leaving out Sergio Ramos, Thiago, David De Gea, those are huge names. However, that criticism was already present in the Euros. It just wasn't as severe because he had the likes of Thiago still in, but he still wasn't really giving David De Gea any time, and Sergio Ramos wasn't in the squad. I do think at this point, if Enrique continues to prove those doubters wrong, gets first place in this group, I think he can win a match like this. Belgium, not that same gold generation as we saw before. I'm sorry to be repetitive, 
but my opinion stays that Belgium will get knocked out of the round of 16s. I am starting to have a little bit more faith in this side after all that criticism I had. There are some other players, apart from that golden generation that's always talked about, that are popping off recently. I'm rooting for Belgium. I would still like to see a non-World Cup champion win this tournament, but I am going to say Spain make it through. But now for Brazil versus Portugal. I did Portugal dirty last time, getting them knocked down the round of 16s after topping their World Cup group, and I had them getting knocked out to Serbia, getting disappointed by this side once again. But now they're coming up against the World Cup favorite for so many. Brazil probably has the most complete side at this World Cup. I think the only position they kind of lack is their fullbacks, but even then, in that department, Portugal are definitely better. And you can argue that a lot of their players will be difference makers in this matchup. But what do I think is setting back that talent from rising to the occasion? I've said it so many times, their manager, Santos. To be fair, Brazil's manager, Chi Chi, also gets some criticism, but I do think the squad Brazil possess can overweigh Santos's flaws. Therefore, I'm sorry, Portugal. You know what? Genuinely prove me wrong. I would love to see Portugal have a deep run if they were on this side in the bracket. Obviously, I'm saying this side because if they're on the other, then they'd face Serbia in the round of 16s and then maybe Croatia in the quarterfinals. But I'm sorry, I still do have Brazil as one of my World Cup favorites. So I can't see them losing to Portugal this early on. It would be a shocker for so many people. I'm pretty sure most of the population at the moment has Brazil winning the entire World Cup. And obviously these predictors can be fools, but I just can't see Brazil getting knocked out this early on. I'm saying they make it to the quarterfinals. They'll face Spain next. But that other side of the bracket, it's extremely exciting because it's actually pretty similar to 2018. Apart from England and Germany, most people consider these other teams either dark horses or underdogs in this tournament. So will those European giants get upset? First off, England versus Ecuador. Ecuador with a very solid defensive unit. If they make it this far, they'll prove it again at this tournament. I do think England will have luck on their side here though and they will scrape for a narrow victory against the mighty Ecuador. I'm gonna say England make it to the quarterfinals. Now for Denmark versus Poland. You know, I actually don't wanna rule out Poland here. I know Denmark are probably the favorites since they usually do better in tournaments. No disrespect to Poland, but great squad. They just don't turn up in these international tournaments as of recently. So maybe they could shock people here. I really wouldn't be surprised. The world is probably going for Denmark, especially if they already proved their class and topping their group. I did have Poland narrowly going through though, only grabbing one win against Saudi Arabia, drawing to Mexico, losing to Argentina. I think Denmark can handle this side, even if they seem to regain their identity under Mishnovic. Sorry, Poland. I'm saying Denmark make it to the quarterfinals. Now for Croatia versus Germany. I got this same fixture in the last prediction video and I had Germany going through. Germany to so many people definitely look like clear favorites in this, but you cannot write off Croatia in this whatsoever. The last time their senior teams faced each other in a competitive competition was in 2008 in the Euros and Croatia won 2-1. They also beat Germany in the World Cup quarterfinals in 1998. So based off of recent history, you could make more arguments about the Croatia national team being the favorites here, but still with the squad Germany possess and with Hansi Flick in charge now, the thing is I believed in him a bit too much and he kind of disappointed me in the Nations League. I'm recording this on a brand new day because my camera footage got corrupted. It's like my camera was telling me a warning sign of not to go for this prediction that I'm going to share with you now. So although you can argue Germany looks more stronger on paper, the chemistry could be there due to the fact that there's so many players already playing for the same club. Germany did show some red flags in the recent Nations League, getting third place. It was a tough group though, and they were missing some of those key players that would definitely be in that starting 11 in a few of the matches, such as Neuer and Rüdiger in a few as well. So Germany's defense actually could look a lot more sharper in a match like this, and Croatia potentially lacking that center forward strength Maybe Levi can pop off at this point, but we obviously don't know if Dalic will be selecting him consistently. It really is a tough one to call. If you're going to base it off of recent form, though, Croatia have been the better team. It would be a quote-unquote upset if Croatia go through, but I genuinely think people shouldn't be so surprised if it happens. And it's kind of crazy because in my last prediction video, I believe I backed Germany to make it all the way to the final. And in my very first prediction video, they were my favorites to win the tournament. I had so much belief in this side under Hansi Flick. Am I going to go for Croatia winning for the third time ever since becoming independent nation against Germany in a major competition? No matter what I say, I'm going to get hay for this. I'm going to get from the Croatians. You got to be more hopeful in our side. And then I'm going to get from Germans. You're just being an absolute biased idiot. Now, I actually really rate the German side. So it's been unfortunate to see us playing them this early on. But at the same time, I am supposed to be going to this match and I've never seen the German national team play before. So I would definitely be treated even if we lose. 
Hopefully it would be narrow if we lose, but I think Croatia might be able to escape against Germany. This could literally be Croatia's biggest obstacle in knockouts. It's actually similar to England. England Euro 2020 had to face Germany in the round of 16s. Once they won that, their fans were very confident they could make it to the final, and they were right. So if I go for Croatia here, I'm warning you, I might go all out with them. I'm genuinely torn about this. I would not be surprised if Germany are the ones to go through. Fantastic side. However, and no, I'm not confident about this, but I'm gonna go for Croatia to make it through to the quarterfinals once again. If this matchup comes true and I get this wrong, then the technology gods have really been trying to give me a sign here. Because I'm telling you, my camera footage really got corrupt right when I gave this prediction. So we're going to go for it, Drogovi. These are two potential finalist teams, though, like I said. Please don't get at me, Germans. I love you guys. Now for Uruguay versus Serbia. I'm going to get even more slammed if I put Serbia to the quarterfinals now. It would be a biased prediction here. Don't underestimate Uruguay. This actually be a very interesting battle. Uruguay can definitely bully the Serbian side. With all those really strong attackers, they could harm that questionable Serbia defense. This match could cause them problems. I see it being a thriller. I could see Mitro getting a goal or two here. Uruguay still come out on top thanks to that tired Serbia defense. I'm sorry, Serbia. And I could have made it Croatia, Serbia, the quarterfinals. I think it's going to be close. I think they'll have a great display. But I'm going to say Uruguay are the ones to make it to the quarterfinals. I think they have a really great squad backing them up. And I'm going to say they're able to do so. I think Serbia could have potentially been better off if I gave them a different opponent for the round of 16s. I'm starting to have a lot more faith in Uruguay, though. If they make it this far, of course. But this bracket is really all guessing at this point. We don't know potential injuries, suspensions. So, of course, I'll give a proper updated prediction video once this time comes around properly. But now moving on to the quarterfinals, we got Netherlands versus Argentina, Spain versus Brazil, England versus Denmark, and Croatia versus Uruguay. These are all very dangerous teams, but I gotta say that first side of the bracket is definitely more threatening. Many of these teams have every reason to believe themselves to make it to the World Cup final. The one I might doubt the most is Spain, but again, I don't want to because Enrique proved us all wrong in Euro 2020. Netherlands versus Argentina first. Every single prediction video, I get this matchup because I always have Netherlands getting first and Argentina getting first. I always have them advancing in their respected matches. I really would be surprised if both these sides can't make it this far. And if I got to pick one winner, I'm going to keep it the same. Argentina. No surprises there. I've stated so many times, I think a South American team are the favorites to win the World Cup this year, either Brazil or Argentina. And I think Netherlands can definitely put off a display. They're going to want to get revenge after 2014, and I think it will be extremely close, just like that matchup. But I'm going to go for Argentina being victorious once again. So basically, I do see history repeating itself. Sorry, Netherlands. Feel free to prove me wrong. If a European team is going to make it very far on this side, I have Netherlands being the ones to do so, but I'm still edging it towards Argentina being the ones victorious. Now for Spain versus Brazil, I, it's probably going to be obvious what I'm going to say here. Brazil, I'm sorry Spain, but I do think Brazil will be a bit too tough. I could be wrong. Many people are actually predicting that Brazil do get knocked out in the knockouts to a European giant, but I just see Spain being the ones to fall short. But I think Brazil just have too much quality, too much depth. And I think they can definitely prove their worth in the attack here. I'm not going to say it's going to be a thrashing, but I do think Brazil will have a very convincing display in a matchup like this. Now going back to that other side of the bracket. First up, England versus Denmark, which is another rematch based off of the Euro semifinals. Denmark are definitely going to want to get revenge here. England have been in poor form in the Nations League, yes. Southgate has made some questionable calls, yes. But I still think many people will expect them to make it out in this. Denmark, like I mentioned previously, a lot of their players at club level aren't necessarily performing to the best of their ability. But when they unify, they are a fantastic side. And I still have a lot of faith in them to have a very deep run in this tournament. I don't know about making it all the way to the final. But I'm going to say, if this matchup were to happen, I would arguably go for Denmark here. I could see them being very determined to get revenge. They're not playing at Wembley anymore. I know that's not necessarily a game changer, but still, I think Denmark could be victorious. Again, this is really just a guessing game because I really don't know injuries, suspensions, momentum throughout this tournament. This is all a mystery. And of course, we don't even know if this matchup's going to happen. But if it does, for now... I could change my mind. I'm going to say Denmark make it to the semifinals and England get cut off short 
in the quarters. Now for Croatia versus Uruguay, this is really a flip of a coin. I don't think we've ever seen this matchup happen in history. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like I should know this, but this is an absolute toss up along with everything I mentioned earlier that we don't know at this point. Also, we have no history or evidence about how these teams are going to rack up against each other. Croatia's road to the final last time was always against another European team, so it could throw them off that they're playing a South American one, or they could absolutely dominate them like they did against Argentina in 2018. I'll say Croatia win that midfield battle and it works out their way. Young defense pulling through Croatia make it to the semifinals. Oh boy, I'm honestly not ready for the comments. And now for Argentina versus Brazil, this would be a bloodbath. South American nations gonna do whatever they can to make it to the final. I have chosen Argentina throughout these prediction videos every time this matchup comes through. This is my opportunity to change my mind. Everybody's banking on Brazil. Well, not everybody, but most people. They have a phenomenal squad to back them up. I totally understand why everyone thinks they're favorites. If Argentina don't win, they will be my secondary favorites. But I do think Potentially, the managerial role can make the difference here. I do believe in Scaloni in this fixture. This is not an easy pick whatsoever. It's a genuine flip of a coin. But I'm going to have Argentina making it to the finals. And then for Denmark versus Croatia, Denmark fans would hate this matchup. Croatia is their kryptonite. Round of 16s in the last World Cup. Nations League this time around after they were so hopeful they could get the top spot. I love the Denmark supporters as well. This could be a great run for them but I do think Croatia will break their hearts once again. They're going to do everything to obviously prove that statement wrong, but I am going to go for Croatia, continuing to be their kryptonite. They make it to a back-to-back -back World Cup final. To everyone commenting, you can fight with me about my other picks on Croatia advancing. Germany, Uruguay, those are going to be intense, and I really think they could challenge Croatia here. However, Denmark, I think they can challenge Croatia as well, of course, but history suggests we can win a matchup like this. And I'm going to back Croatia here. I'm all. So for that final match, Croatia versus Argentina. Argentina obviously got battered by Croatia 3-0 in the last World Cup. Will we see Modric ball out against this country once again? I really think this Argentina has been absolutely revolutionized since 2018. Probably one of the biggest wake-up calls we've seen in a national team in recent times. They've absolutely stepped up since then. That matchup will haunt them and they're going to... Be nervous, but they will get their revenge here. I'm so sorry, Croatia. Prove me wrong. Win the World Cup. I'm giving them a great run again, which I know everybody's going to slam me for. But I think this run ends here. I've got Argentina as my winners for the third prediction video in a row. So let me know where I messed up, obviously. But instead of fueling your hate with disagreement, join my league and prove me wrong. Seriously, I will give the winner of this league, for all of you master predictors in the comments, $100. Follow my other social medias on Twitter and Instagram if you want to be eligible for this giveaway. All you got to do is be the top winner and follow me on my social medias and you will win $100 if you prove me wrong in these predictions. I'll end the final knockout prediction here. Best of luck to any of the teams you support. I'm just excited for this World Cup, man. Even if I get this wrong, I love to see the upsets. I love to be proven wrong, unless it's against Croatia, obviously. But no question about it, though. I expect this to be a fantastic tournament. So please drop a like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. And I will be headed to Qatar soon, so expect some vlogs in the near future. Anyways, take care. Lako noch.